Whenever the torrents of fire are ignited in the kitchen, it's the beginning of a story. A series of a cooking experience, or rather, an adventure. We're inside Multimedia University Kitchenette, where we will be cooking Maryland chicken. First, we seek to know what's special about Maryland. This Maryland chicken, you undress, you nibble, cut into pieces, and uh, you boil first, then when it's done, you, you fry it. I'm going to put onions, uh, little tomatoes, and uh, make it wet fry. To make it it's a simple recipe that doesn't need a mountain of ingredients. Part of what you need is chicken breasts which are first cut into small pieces like red meat, then the pieces are boiled. The final stage is frying the boiled pieces. A number of spices are needed depending on the preference of those being served. Part of the crucial spices are tomatoes, onions, Capsicum. They are kept after frying the chicken, then toast, and once in a while, there will be the colorful plantain. Once ready, Maryland chicken can be served with a variety of meals such as rice, bananas, potatoes, or even ugali. Ah, I'll serve it with rice, but you can serve it with chips. Any, 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 any. I can serve it with chips, mashed potatoes. Uh, but I'm going to serve it with rice and some vegetables, cabbage. Okay. Cooking is something Robert appreciates so much. And it's my passion. It's my passion that uh, I'm a chef because uh, I love cooking. And it's my passion, my hobby, my everything. That's much of what we've covered today in the kitchen. But next time Demo Jail Life will be in the kitchen, be sure it will be a story of another recipe. For now, it's a bye from me.